Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. I called this exercise a simple stand. Why? Because it looks almost like a stand and it's kind of easy to do. So, let's have fun with Onshape. First, I want to define some variables. So, I'll go for the first one and I call this one stand length and this might be 200 millimeter second one would be the stand diameter and this could be maybe 30 millimeter and the last one would be the wire diameter and there I want to go for one millimeter and confirm. Let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I need a line and the length of this line should be of course the stand length. So give it a dimension and this should be of course the stand length and it should be a construction line then I will need a point and I put that point right there and the distance here should be I need it for my spline, so let's add a dimension and this should be hashtag the stand diameter divided by 2 and OK. Then I could add a spline. I've tried a tangent continuous curve, which gave me some problems. So I will go for a spline. Go back to that sketch. You can put it in a different one, but I can put it in the same one. So go for a spline and this should start at this point. Then go slightly over here maybe like that then maybe up like this back down and again up and this here should probably be the same distance as the one below so I could align this point vertical with that one here yeah let's take a look if that is okay yeah that's okay maybe put it like this and maybe move that point adjust it a little bit whichever way you want it to be maybe like that Okay, and maybe move this a little bit as well, maybe like that. Doesn't really matter. And confirm that sketch. I want to make a revolved surface, so let's go for a revolve. It should be a surface, yes. That would be the spline here, and the axis would be this one here. And confirm and maybe hide that surface at least for the moment and bring back that sketch I will need a helix so let's go for a helix over here I want to go for an axis axis should be this one yes 
and I want to go for a height, and the height would be the stand length, hashtag stand length. That's okay. The start radius should be, in this case, I want to go for the stand diameter. Don't forget that hashtag. And I want to use a greater value, so I want to go for bigger values to go for two times the stand diameter, just in case, to make sure it works. Okay. And the turns, I want to go for 10 revolutions. Yeah. That's okay. And confirm. Now another sketch on the front plane. I need to bring in that point here, this one here. And I need a line which goes from the origin up to this one here. Okay, and confirm. And now I want to make a sweep. So go for the sweep. It should be a surface and I want to sweep that line here along that helix and confirm. Great. Let's hide this one, bring back the first one and I need to extend that here in order to split it correctly or to trim it correctly. So let's go for, it's over here. Yeah, move boundary, this boundary maybe five millimeter, that should do. And again, at the bottom, again, five millimeter. Let's show both surfaces. Now I need the intersection curve. So let's go for intersection curve. First group would be this surface and second group would be that revolved surface and confirm. Hide those two surfaces and hide that helix and hide that sketch here, which gives me this curve here and I want to go for a sweep. So I will need another sketch on the front plane. I want to bring in that point. And then go for a circle which sits right here. And that diameter should be one millimeter. So give it a dimension. And this should be the wire diameter. Okay. Finish that sketch. And now let's make a sweep. So I want to have a solid in this case. And I want to sweep sketch three. And the sweep path would be that intersection curve. Let's see if we can go around to the top up there and confirm. And we could hide that intersection curve. Nice. Now I want to shape that wire a little bit. So here. Let's hide all planes. And I need to offset surfaces from the revolved surface. So where is it? That's this one here. Yeah. And I need an offset surface. So where's the offset surface? Mm, that. No. 
over here nope there you go offset surface and I want to offset this surface that would be to the inside and that value should be the wire diameter don't forget that hashtag here divided by 4 and confirm that's this one and a second offset surface from the same one but the other way around other direction so go again for that off there you go offset surface from this surface again this should be hashtag wire diameter divided by four and it should be the other way around and confirm hide this one here and now I want to I want to split that part here and I will take a look where that is good to see yeah here we go maybe hide first the inner one if it's really the inner one this should be the outer one and I want to remove that part here so go for a split I don't want to keep both sides the part I want to split is that part here the splitting tool would be surface 4 and it seems to be okay it yeah I don't want to keep the tools so just confirm which removes yeah this side now let's use surface 3 make it visible and do the same again split split now the part with this surface and that's hard to see is there somewhere an arrow sadly not yeah I don't want to keep both sides let's take a look so I have to switch which should yeah that's it and confirm now I want to mirror I want to mirror that part so go for a mirror part mirror part mirror that's okay this part here the mirror plane would be the front plane for example and it's a new one yes confirm takes a while and then I want to make a circular pattern and therefore I will need a line which is in sketch one so I make it visible now let's go for a circular pattern yes again a part pattern the axis so I want to pattern both parts this one and the axis of pattern would be this here equal spacing yeah let's go for eight instances and confirm and I'm done so I hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help 
You could follow me also on LinkedIn and watch my on shape trainings courses there. Instagram, GrabCat and many more. If you want to make a copy of this part, just search public in Onshape for Onshape Simple Stand WWC underscore YT underscore final and you will get a copy of my model. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.